Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the difference between spring wheat and winter wheat. Well, it is still wheat, whether it's grown in the spring or it's planted in the fall, but there's a big difference here. With winter wheat, it's going to be put out before winter and it's going to go dormant through the winter and then thrive in the very early spring. The big difference here is spring wheat is going to get raised in the spring, planted in the spring, it's going to grow right away and you're done. With winter wheat, it's got to go through a vernalization process. Basically, the soil is going to get cold at some point it's going to hit that and then we're in pretty good shape. We carry through to the next year. Now this makes growing winter wheat just a little bit more difficult because you're worried about, hey, I'm going to do everything right in the fall, but I may have problems with winter survival. If, for example, we don't get any snow cover and we get a very cold winter and that wheat is just exposed to terribly low temperatures and harsh conditions. When you get snow on it, that's actually a good thing. Now, you may say, wait a second, snow on top of plants, that can't be a good thing. Snow acts as insulation and it keeps that temperature constant underneath. That's what we need to be really successful overwintering winter wheat. Yeah, so the spring wheat isn't going to be able to survive the winter, the winter wheat will. But again, I want to come back to this vernalization process. Basically, things have to get cold to a certain degree in order for that wheat to go into the next year and flower and put on seed and everything else. But we don't worry about that, quite frankly, at all in the north. We're very, very cold. Well, and you'll see winter wheat grown in some parts of North America and in other areas, it's just spring wheat. So this does vary by geography a little bit. And there are some areas that'll do both. Like, for example, around our farm, you could get crop insurance for spring wheat. That was a common practice, but winter wheat wasn't. So that was something that farmers, if they were going to do that, they'd be on their own because they were fairly unique in the area. With winter wheat, it typically yields more, and that's the reason why we like it. But then again, there is more risk because now that crop has to be out there for a lot of months, so you could have some things go wrong. Let's just say we don't have snow cover and it gets ridiculously cold. It's possible we could kill off some of the winter wheat. If it doesn't go into the winter very healthy, it's possible you could kill off some of that winter wheat. So there's just a lot more risk with winter wheat, but since it does yield more, that's the one I like to raise. Well, winter wheat and spring wheat can both be very profitable crops. They can be nice in a crop rotation, whether that be after a soybean or a corn or sunflower crop, or you wait until the following spring. Either way, these are good crops for farmers, just a little bit different on the timing of when you'd plant them. Whether you have winter wheat or spring wheat, you may see our Wheat of the Week. We'll tell you what it is and how to stop it coming up later in the show. <music> 